There are seasons when you're going to feel down and feel negative about your life. We all have those days and I think it's pretty normal as humans. But I also know that it can feel a bit torturous because you feel like this, this season of your life and the way that you're feeling will never end. But don't lose hope. I've been there actually very recently and I thought that it was never going to end and I thought I was never going to be better. But I'm starting to get better and I'm stronger because of it. So here are some things that helped me. I really hope that it helps you. So the first thing that's really helped me is to have some sort of morning routine that doesn't involve looking at your phone. I know that it's so tempting to just roll over and look at your phone right when you wake up, but I found that that this looking at my phone makes me really anxious because you're kind of just focusing on other people's life. A tip that I have for you guys is to sleep with your phone like far away out of your reach and instead having your phone next to you, keeping like a book or like for me, I sometimes keep a book or a Bible next to me so that I could just, once I wake up, I could just squiggle around a little bit, roll over and read. And another part of my morning routine that I really like to do is to tidy up my room, make my bed, and also make breakfast, like something really simple while I listen to a podcast or music on YouTube. Um, the music that I really like to listen to in the morning is like cafe slash jazz music. Uh, yeah, and you can find a ton of those on YouTube. Um, the second thing that I recommend is just taking care of your body and exercising. Uh, it doesn't have to be intense. I know we're pretty busy people, uh, but just making the time to even just stretch or do like a light exercise, I think is really helpful. Just not to your mind and it just, it always feels good when you know that you're taking care of your body. <laughs> Here's me doing the dead bug exercise. It looks so funny. This is just one of the things that you could do. So number three is I know that if it's the weekend, it's really tempting to just stay in your comfy clothes like your pajamas or just your sweatpants. But what's really helped me to feel more positive is to actually change out of that into more like uncomfortable clothes or like going out clothes. Like you could be wearing jeans or um, you know, a nice sweater or whatever. It just prepares you for the day. And so, and then number four, again, if it's the weekend and you're feeling down, I know it's easy to isolate yourself, but for me, someone who has a lot of anxious thoughts, I think it's really important to get out of the house. And so since number three was, since you're already ready, if you did number three, you know, you could just head on out, run errands, or just visit places like, you know, go, go like eye shopping or just go like go to the beach or just go to a farmer's market and just there's always things that you could enjoy and yeah I think that's really important to just get out and not isolate yourself in your and the fifth one has been the most helpful and that is surrounding yourself with people that love you uh, hanging out with friends or even just talking to them about how you're feeling um, Again, I know it's easy to isolate yourself, but I really challenge you to be honest and vulnerable to those pe the, to the to the people that really care about you. Like during this season, I've been really good about I guess reaching out to people and I've been so thankful and blessed that people are so responsive and caring and they like go out of their way to check up on me and things like that and it's just another reminder that oh I'm loved and I'm cared for and I matter. Um, and the last thing is I think it's so important to change your perspective no matter how difficult the season is there's always something to be grateful for and so something that really helps me is to write like a grateful log write down like the things that you're thankful for and be really specific about those things I think that's always really helpful um, like in a world of social media, it's so easy to count the blessings of other people instead of like, and we never really take the time to count our own blessings. And so, yeah, that's just something that's been really helpful to me. I know these things really helped me and I hope that it can help you. And I just wanna say thank you, especially to Grace Choi. She's my really, really good friend and she helped me film this because it's really hard filming by myself. And so thank you to her. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.